Here's Brody Brazil. For the second time in a row, Caps superstar forward Alexander Ovechkin has been elected to an NHL All-Star Weekend that he is declining to participate in. In fact, for 2020 in St. Louis, he was named captain of the Metropolitan Division team via fan voting, an honor he's deciding to surpass because the time and travel and commitment for mid-season exhibition hockey in Missouri comes nowhere near his priorities for rest and health in the second half of this NHL season. Far as opinions on this go, ask 100 different people and you are likely to get 100 totally different responses. Now, I completely understand where Ovi is coming from here, and while it is a slippery slope of job requirements versus superstar treatment, I'm actually going to side with him. When he says, quote, it's a hard decision, but I have to listen to my body. I have to get ready for the second half of the year. I have to be healthy and focus on different things. There isn't really much more to be said. By the way, there is a mandated one game league suspension for any player choosing to miss the All-Star weekend on their own account. Ovechkin will have to either sit out the first game going into the break or coming out of it for the Washington Capitals. Make no mistake, the NHL is hugely aware of this trend with the Great Eight, and they're concerned by it. What precedent could it set for other future star players moving forward? Like, in two years from now, what happens when Connor McDavid and Nathan McKinnon say, eh, you know what, we've actually had enough, we're not coming to your weekend? It is definitely a legitimate feeling that the NHL could lose a handle on this, which would not be good for business. The All-Star Game, just like the Stanley Cup Final, is a league event, and sure, it is for the fans, ultimately, but the real reason so much sparkle and glitter goes into all these events is because it's a showcase to sponsors. So when the league is trying to show potential buyers, hey, this is how electric our athletes are, look how entertaining this product is, it just doesn't have the same effect when some of the biggest names are noticeably absent by their own decision. I totally get that. I also understand the fan perspective that if you are a superstar player in the NHL, making superstar money and growing your superstar brand, it's kind of just part of the job description that you have to show up for 36 hours while a majority of the league's other players are on full break. Not all of us like every single part of our job every single day, but if it comes with the territory, it's a requirement, you just get it done like a pro and you move on. Okay. I respect that take too. But in Ovechkin's case, I mean, he's been a golden boy of this league for so long, so many years, and over time, he has earned the reputation of being a good sport and doing what's best for business almost every single time. I've only had a handful of personal interactions with him over the years, but I've been blown away how cordial and willing he's been to fulfill requests, including the one time we actually asked him to stop by the complete other side of SAP Center for an interview after practice. He easily could have said no, but instead he said, hey, no problem. The guy is 34. He now knows what it feels like to win a Stanley Cup and he wants another. He sees his team right now as one of the top point getters in the league this season, and I don't blame him for tightening up the ship a little bit. I can't say it for every player, but I do support how Ovechkin is approaching this. And as for the league, look, if you're that worried about the future of players ditching out, maybe change up the party a little bit. Like have the game mean something more tangible or make it more credible among players. Also, maybe a better selection format than what exists right now, where fans only vote in the first and last players with the league selecting everybody else in between. Maybe something like a player vote. I don't know. But the bottom line is give these guys, like Ovechkin, a reason that is so compelling to attend the game that they can't possibly miss out on the opportunity.